Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today the quote of the day is by Nelson Mandela. The greatest glory in living lies not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall. Today the topic of presentation is types of economic relation, that is cost utility analysis and cost benefit analysis under the supervision of Professor Dr. Sair Absar. Learning outlines of today's presentation is detailed discussion of cost benefit and cost utility analysis ways to calculate them, their implementations, strengths and weaknesses, and quality adjusted life year, their examples, recent advances and MCQs. By the end of this presentation, participants will be able to describe what is cost benefit and cost utility analysis, when, where and how they can be used and how to calculate them. So what is economic valuation? Economic evaluations involve the identification, measurement and valuation and then comparison of the costs that are inputs and in benefits that are outcomes of two or more alternative treatments or activities. Now there are four types of full economic evaluation. We have already discussed the cost minimization and cost effectiveness analysis. In all the forms of economic evaluation, the costs are inputs are in the form of monetary value that can be in dollar or money uh, or rupee value while the consequences are different in cost minimization the outcome is identical in all respects while in cost effectiveness the outcome is cost per unit effect like cost per uh, death averted cost per intervention while in cost utility analysis that we will discuss in detail today the outcome is uh, is in the form of quality that is quality adjusted life year while in cost benefit analysis both the inputs and outcomes are in monetary value that can be in dollar or rupee so what is cost minimization analysis if the outcomes of the alternative strategies are demonstrated to be equivalent then the analysis will consist of simply comparing costs and choosing the cheapest option now what is cost effectiveness analysis? Cost effectiveness analysis is a way to examine both the cost and health outcomes of one or more interventions. It compares an intervention to another intervention by estimating how much it costs to gain a unit of health outcome like a life year gain or health prevented. No cost benefit analysis. Cost benefit analysis is a way to compare the cost and benefits of an intervention where both are expressed in monetary value. Both Cost benefit analysis and cost effectiveness analysis include health outcome. However, cost benefit analysis places a monetary value on health outcome so that both cost and benefits are in monetary unit. It is a form of economic evaluation through which question primarily of allocative efficiency are addressed. Now, what inputs are included in cost benefit analysis? It includes costs that include those for implementing an intervention and benefits including those resulting from an intervention such as medical costs averted, productivity gains and the monetized value of health improvements. What output does a cost benefit analysis provide? Cost benefit analysis provides the net benefits that are benefits minus cost of an intervention. Cost benefit analysis, one is a benefit cost ratio that can be, that can be uh, calculated by uh, uh, monetary value of all the benefits divided by the monetary value of all the costs. The other one is net benefit value that can be calculated by the monetary value of all benefits minus the monetary value of all the costs. So the net present value that equals to benefit minus cost. The change is said to be economical efficient if net present value is positive, ratio of total benefits to cost is greater than one. Cost benefit analysis is a multidisciplinary process involving economists, expertise from different fields, the input from policy and decision maker. Know the benefit cost ratio. A benefit cost ratio is an indicator showing the relationship between the relative costs and benefits of a proposed project, and it is expressed in monetary or qualitative terms. If a project has benefit cost ratio greater than one, the project is expected to deliver a positive net present value to a firm and its investors. If a project's benefit cost ratio is less than one, the project cost outweighs the benefits and it should not be considered. Now, how can decision makers use this information? Cost benefit analysis is a quantitative analytical tool to aid decision makers in different allocation of resources 
cost benefit analysis provide a systematic assessment of the cost and benefits associated with an intervention cost benefit analysis estimated net benefit offers a sense of the economic value provided to society by an intervention decision maker can also use cost benefit analysis to compare health and non health interventions because both cost and benefits are expressed in monetary units no why cba is used it provides a consistent framework for deciding when interventions are desirable or not and to estimate the benefits in monetary terms of proposed policy changes in order to inform decision making estimating benefits in monetary terms allows a comparison of different types of benefits in the same units and to determine the net impact of the project i e positive or negative in healthcare context cost benefit analysis should be used rather than the other types of economic valuation because it is the only method that can tell whether an intervention is worthwhile or not the uses of cost benefit analysis most common it is most commonly used for public decisions policy proposals for uh, for example dams bridges traffic circles and anything else the government might fund accepting or rejecting a single project and it can be also used for choosing the appropriate scale and for the timing of a project it is also used in choosing one of a number of mutually exclusive projects and choosing a number of discrete alternative projects from a uh, larger number of discrete alternative projects and it also helps in evaluating government policies notably through not only related to government regulations value it helps in evaluating projects or policy post rather than pre cost benefit analysis helps to establish a culture of account accountability throughout the organization cost benefit analysis provides valuable feedback to staff which can help to improve uh, the performance within the organization now the strengths of cost benefit analysis it uh, it is a systematic way of thinking and analysis it focuses on use of scarce resources it has strong methodological basis it uh, gives a monetary measurement uh, and provides comparison and it appeals to uh, for to policy makers now the limitations of cost benefit analysis it is a one approach to assess the efficiency of the policy or a program and there is uncertainty of all parameters used the estimated values of objects at risk probabilities of the hazard know the cost benefit and uh, analysis the steps for calculating them the first step is define the framework for the analysis then identify and classify the costs and benefits then draw a timeline for expected costs and revenue then monetize the costs and benefits then discount costs and benefits to obtain present values then calculate net present values in cost benefit analysis as already explained both the cost and benefits are in monetary value the cost and benefits in, can be both uh, can be all of the in all of the forms like direct indirect and intangible direct costs include uh, costs of uh, for the payment of the wages of the employees for uh, purchasing of the equipments and transportation indirect includes uh, absentees of the uh, workers while intangible costs are difficult to measure Uh, they include uh, sufferings from the illness or pain from the sufferings uh, it is sometimes it is hard to put a monetary value to the health risk uh, this can be calculated by asking the people that how much monetary value they give to the particular health risk this is called the willingness to pay mo- uh, pay model in which the benefits of treatment and av- avoid cost of illness and the human capital is loss or gain of the income due to illness this is an example the, uh, that uh, that provides the results from a cost benefit analysis of an intervention to, to to reduce trans fats in the food supply the analysis estimates that the following benefits are worth of uh, 140 billion dollars that includes debt medical costs averted valuation of quality of life gain due to non fatal heart attacks averted valuation of life years gain due to fatal heart attacks averted and next are the costs next the analysis estimates that the cost to the industry and consumers are 6 billion dollars no calculation of the net benefits the formula as already explained is net benefit value can be calculated by uh, subtracting the uh, net benefits uh, from the cost so if we subtract 
140 billion dollar from 6 billion dollars the the uh, net benefit value will be of 134 uh, 134 billion in net benefits this is another example of cost benefit analysis there are two project one project costs pakistani rupee 8000 rupees while the second project costs uh, 11000 pakistani rupees the total benefits from project 1 is 12000 pakistani rupees while the total benefit from project 2 is to 20000 pakistani rupees the benefit cost ratio of project 1 is uh, that is obtained by uh, dividing the benefits by cost is 1.5 while the benefit cost ratio of project 2 is 1.81 so the project 2 is feasible because it have high benefit to cost ratio it has high benefits so this is more uh, feasible to uh, consider the second project now the differences of the cost benefit analysis and cost effective analysis cost effective analysis is an economic uh, analysis that compares the cost and outcomes of two alternative interventions while cost benefit analysis is an economic analysis that compares the cost of an intervention with its benefits and both express in monetary terms cost benefit analysis can be used to compare two alternative interventions in cost effective analysis benefits of intervention could be infections averted quality adjusted life years gain and life years saved as already explained like uh, cost per death averted and cost per intervention while in cost benefit analysis benefits converted to the monetary value here is the example of the cost effectiveness and cost benefit analysis the inputs of our uh, cost uh, effectiveness analysis is if we spend one dollar to buy hemophilus vac vaccine and the outcome will be avert infection de uh, decreased by one case that is the health outcome while in cost benefit analysis if we spend one dollar to buy hemophilus vaccine we will earn five dollars that by avoiding work leave by the averting infection as seen in the in this table the outcome of cost effectiveness is cost per unit effect while in cost benefit analysis the outcome is in monetary value no cost unit utility analysis for a cost utility analysis the outcomes of healthcare interventions are measured in units of health outcome that combine quality and quantity of life and can thus be compared between different interventions and health problems this is the most well known example of measure of health utility is the quality adjusted life year or quali and disability adjusted life year that is called daily it can address the technical efficiency and allocative efficiency within the healthcare sector. If we compare the interventions with different health outcomes, for example, medications to reduce the blood pressure and a screening program for, uh, to reduce breast cancer and kidney transplant to, for improving the kidney function, uh, if we uh, want to calculate the common outcome year, it can be uh, calculated by quality adjusted life year. Now, what is quality adjusted life year? Quality adjusted life year is uh, the number of years gained and the quality of uh, life improved by the health interventions. It can be calculated by multiplying the number of years gained and quality of uh, life uh, by health interventions. For example, if due to intervention, uh, someone has got five years of extra life and the good quality of, uh, good quality of life, then his quality will be one. While if uh, with some intervention, the uh, life years gained are five five years, while the quality of life is less, that is 0 0.2, then the quality will be one. Quality of life is uh, numbered from zero to one. Zero is the worst, that is death, and one is the best health, uh, health or the quality of life. If uh, quality is one, then one year of life lived in perfect health. If uh, quality is zero then the it is assumed that the person is dead and if uh, quality is between zero to one say 0 0.5 then it can be one year of life lived with chronic disease this is an example of the quality for example with the intervention a and b the years gained by intervention a and b are four uh, four four years while the quality score or the health quality is 0 0.75 with intervention a and 0 0.5 with intervention B. If we uh, multiply both these values, we will get the quality. The quality for intervention 1A is 3, while for intervention 2 is uh, 
intervention B is two. Intervention A is best alternative because it gets a higher value of qualities. Uh, as shown in the table, the quality gained by the intervention A is three, while for intervention B is two. The quality is able to combine the effects of health interventions on mortality and morbidity into a single index therapy, providing a common currency to enable comparison across different disease areas. Qualities are calculated simply by multiplying the duration of time spent in health state by the health related, related quality of life weight, high utility score associated with that health state. Uh, as already discussed, one indicates the perfect health while zero indicates death. Know the strengths and challenges of the cost utility analysis. The strengths are it can compare the interventions with broad ranges of outcomes and from different sectors it provides a common outcome measure so that different interventions can be compared. It can compare new programs with other programs that were evaluated with this method. The challenges of post utility analysis are no consequences on the best method to evaluate the quality of life. Many health promotion interventions have additional benefits beyond health gain. Quality adjusted life years can be insensitive to small changes at the individual level, even though those changes may be substantial at the population level. Know the advantages. Cost utility analysis facilitates comparisons with outer resource to placing monetary values on different health states and indeed life itself with all the technical and ethical challenges associated with this. Cost utility analysis can capture the value of improvements in morbidity and mortality. Cost utility analysis increasing facilitates the transparency of resource allocation processes. Now the disadvantages. In post utility uh, analysis, there is absence of agreement in measuring utilities, and, it, and the results are often difficult to reproduce among different evaluators because of variations in methodologies to elicit disease weight. There are problems with the quantification of patient problem, and there is uh, absence of agreement in measuring utilities. Now, this is a graph. If we plot the health related quality of life on y axis and uh, number it from 0 to 1 and uh, plot the uh, time or time duration in years in x axis, we can see that without treatment, a person has less quality of life throughout his life and his uh, 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 life, uh, life years are also less. He dies earlier, but with, with treatment, he has gained a good quality of life and his uh, time duration or lifespan is also increased. No calculation of the cost utility analysis. There are two uh, measurements, cost utility ratio that can be obtained by costs that are in monetary value and by the quality adjusted life years. The incremental cost utility ratio is equals to cost differential. For example, uh, for cost differential can be calculated by uh, uh, subtracting the two costs of different interventions by the outcome differential qualities qual qual by subtracting the qualities of different interventions. With the quality as the common effect, the evaluation exercise returns to the cost effectiveness analysis framework. A cost utility analysis is a special case of cost effectiveness analysis where the effect E is measured by a quality. CA uh, cost effectiveness analysis is a special case of uh, cost benefit analysis and cost utility analysis is a special kind of cost effectiveness analysis. It means that a cost utility analysis is a restricted cost benefit analysis. Now these are the steps for calculating the uh, for doing the cost utility analysis. First step is identification of two or more alternatives, then identification of the perspectives, then determination of the cost, then determination of outcomes in utility terms that is quality and then calculation of cost utility ratio and then decision making. Now this is the example of uh, cost utility analysis and query. Assume that a patient who goes without treatment will live three months in health state one and that uh, same patient who receives a toxic treatment will live six months in health state two where, H1 is, uh, where health state one is better than health state two. No, uh, how quality can be uh, calculated? Quality can be uh, calculated as for uh, without treatment, the person can live for three months and his health status uh, status is uh, uh, say 0 
but uh, maximum is one for three months as uh, there are four portions in of three months in one year uh, we can calculate quality by multiplying the 0 0.25 by 0 0.6 and the quality is 0 0.15 without treatment and with treatment the person lives six months and his health status is less so the quality is 0 0.1 so for the quality for uh, without treatment is higher than without treatment. This is another example of the cost utility analysis. With treatment X, there is estimated survival of 10 years while estimated quality, uh, quality of life is 0 0.7. The uh, quality for this uh, with this treatment is 7.0. While without treatment, the estimated survival is 5 while the estimated quality of life is 0 0.5. The quality is 2.5. So the quality adjusted life year gained from the treatment X is uh, 4.5 year quality adjusted life years. If the cost of treatment X is suppose 18,000 euros, then the cost per quality is 4,000 per quality. That is uh, uh, calculated by dividing the 18,000 euros uh, by 4.5 additional quality adjusted life years. This is an example of the uh, of uh, an intervention that is grass allergen immunotherapy tablet and symptomatic medications while the other intervention is only uh, with symptomatic medication the expected cost per intervention uh, immunotherapy tablets is 3449 euros while with symptomatic medication it only costs 2247 euros the incremental cost is that is obtained by subtracting the two values is uh, 1202 euros while the expected quality uh, of these intervention is 7.37 and 7.27 the incremental uh, is obtained by subtracting these two values that is 0 0.10 so the incremental uh, cost per quality is 12,168 euros per quality the treatment with grass allergen immunotherapy tablet and symptomatic medications cost uh, uh, 12,000 euros per additional quality gain. Now the recent updates. First article is cost benefit analysis of a population based education program on the wise use of antibiotics. The objective of this study is in 2005, the do bugs need drugs program was imported to British uh, Columbia from Alberta with the goal of reducing unnecessary antibiotic use in the community. The objective of this study was to estimate the impact of program on antibiotic associated costs and cost benefits. The methods. Uh, they used data on antibiotic prescription and cost from uh, British Columbia PharmaNet for the period of uh, 1996 to 2014. They conducted interpreted time series regression to formally interpret the impact of the do bugs need drugs. The results. The average monthly prescription rate fell by 14.5% from 15.3 to 46.4 per thousand population between 2005 and 14. The uh, proportionate contribution of macroarray prescription decreased from 19.2 to 13.2 in uh, and for clinical funeral loans decreased from 13.1 to 12% and the proportion of prescriptions for both penicillin and tetracycline increased by 35.5% before the program the average monthly cost of antibiotics was increasing by 8.2 per thousand uh, population and after program introduction the average monthly cost decreased by 18.19 dollars per thousand population creating an annual savings for british uh, columbia in 2014 for uh, 18.83.6 million dollars in 2014 one canadian dollar spent on two drugs need drugs program was associated with conservative savings of $76.20. The con conclusion of this study is, there is significant cost savings have been observed in association with the community antimicrobial stewardship program, focused on both public and prescribers. Such, pro such programs are an effective strategy in cost benefit terms and should therefore be considered for universal adoption in healthcare systems. This is another article that is published in 2022. The title is Exercise in Preventing Falls for Men with Prostate Cancer, a model, a model cost utility analysis. 
men who receive androgen deprivation therapy for prostate cancer are a vulnerable for population due to the side effects of the treatment the purpose of this paper is to determine the cost effectiveness of fexel implementing falls and fracture from high risk population in australia the method used is a dc analytic analytic model model was constructed to evaluate the cost utility of an exercise intervention compared to usual care from a health system perspective the intervention comprises of two uh, health sessions of supervised exercise per week over one year for men and with non metastatic prostatic cancer receiving uh, curative radiation therapy with and uh, th uh, therapy with androgen de deprivation therapy a morpho model stimulated the transition between five health states at risk of falling at recurrent risk of falling fractures non fracture injury uh, and death cost and qualities uh, were aggregated and compared between the intervention and control to calculate the incremental net monetary benefit the results are at a billing next to pay of 50 dollars uh, 50000 per quali the exercise intervention dominated as it was less costly and more effective than the usual one the incremental net monetary benefit uh, was uh, 3010 per patient then conclusion is this is the first model economic evaluation of exercise for men with prostate cancer our results suggest supervised exercise is most effective in reducing the uh, risk of falls and fractures in this population now the turn for the mcqs first mcq is a patient with brain tumor who goes without treatment will live for one year in health state 0.5 out of 1 the same patient will live for two years with surgery in health state 0.4 then calculate the quality adjusted life year these are the options these are the simple calculations you can easily calculate the uh, quality adjusted life years for without treatment and with treatment d yes d is the b right. yes d is the right answer the quality adjusted life year uh, for, uh, without treatment is 0.5 and quality adjusted life year with surgery is 0.8 that are uh, obtained by multiplying both the value Second MCQ is an immunization program is initiated initiated among children against a disease X Y Z to minimize the ex expenses related to that disease. The immunization program analysis estimate that it will give benefits of a worth of ru rupees three billion by direct medical cost averted valuation of the quality of life and life years gained due to attacks of the disease averted. Next, the analysis estimates that the cost to the industry and consumers are of worth rupees one billion. Which economic evaluation method they used? Whether it is cost effectiveness, cost benefit, cost utility, cost minimization, or partial economic evaluation? B A. Uh, B. B. B is the C. right answer. B is the right answer. As both inputs and outputs are in monetary values, so it is cost benefit analysis. Third MCQ is. An immunization program in, is initiated among children against a disease X Y Z to minimize the expenses related to that disease. The immunization program analysis estimate that it will give benefits of worth rupees seven point five billion by direct medical cost averted valuation of the quality of life and life years gained due to attacks of the disease averted. As the analysis estimate that the cost to industry and consumer are worth rupees five billion. What will be the net benefit value? Whether it is two point five billion, five billion, seven point five billion, ten billion, or twelve point five billion. A. A. Yes, A is the uh, correct option. As uh, net benefit value can be obtained by subtracting the benefits from the cost. So the answer is two point five. Fourth MCQ is the health econo economists conducted the cost benefit analysis of ongoing two health projects, project A and B, and calculated the cost uh, cost benefit ratio of two projects. Which project is economically more efficient and why? Uh, and why? For uh, project A, total cost is uh, three thousand. For project B, total cost is uh, fifteen uh, one lakh and fifty thousand. And total benefits of project A is uh, one hundred thousand. And for uh, project B, it is uh, twenty thousand. And the uh, for project A, the benefit cost ratio is three point three. While for project B, it is zero point one three. Which is economically more efficient and why? A. A. Uh, B. C is the correct option. 
we have discussed that uh, if the uh, benefit cost ratio is greater than when uh, greater than one then it will be the economical efficient so c is the right option it is difficult to assign monetary values to healthcare benefits which of the following allows measurement of potential benefits of healthcare other than just health gain whether quality adjusted life year life year gain willingness to pay disability adjusted life years or cost for death averted e c is the correct option willingness to pay model six mcq is a cost benefit analysis different from a cost effective analysis by taking into account the uh, cost of health benefits paid for by insurance companies by measuring the benefits to society by including cost savings from avoiding health cost taking in the effects of an intervention and converting the effects into a money value and then compare the cost to benefit or by more cost paid and more benefits gain or by both or uh, both have same health outcome koi difference from the see? See? yes c is the correct option see? See. MCQ is in a community XYZ a nutrition screening and rehabilitation program is initiated in children under five years of age by trained health care professionals. This program will cost fifty million Pakistani rupees per salary, equipment, food, supplements, transportation, transportation, and others. This program costs Pakistani rupee twelve hundred per additional quality adjusted life years gain. Uh, this is an example of cost effectiveness, cost benefit, cost utility, cost minimization, or partial economic valuation. A. A. Yes. A. C is the correct option. As in cost utility B. analysis, the outcome is in quality adjusted life years. Eighth MCQ is an organization notices that spending thousand Pakistani rupee on hemophilus vaccine to their employees at the start of the winter after their consent give a benefit of three thousand Pakistani rupee to their organization by avoiding work leave by avoiding infection. This can be demonstrated by cost minimization, cost effectiveness. Cost utility, cost benefit, or partial economic valuation. B. Yes, cost effectiveness analysis. As the outcome is uh, cost per unit effect. Ninth MCQ is in quantifying the value of the ongoing nutrition education program at middle school children. Public health economics goal is to express the benefits associated with this program in a dollar value. Which economic Evaluation method uh, he should imply whether it is cost effectiveness, cost benefit, cost utilization, cost minimization, or partial economic valuation. B. Yes, B. As the outcome is in mm. dollar value. Tenth MCQ is cost utility analysis. Economic evaluation method would be the best applied in which of the following cases? Case one is uh, the input is in uh, monetary value, while the outcome is in averting infection decreased by one case. For uh, case two, the uh, input is in monetary value, while the output is in one thousand Pakistani rupees is also in monetary value. For case three, uh, the antibiotic drugs drug A cost Pakistani rupee eight thousand per month, but drug B cost Pakistani rupee thirty eight hundred per month, and the output is drug A reduces sugar level, drug B also reduces sugar level by the same amount. Select uh, drug B and reject drug A. Case four is spent ten thousand Pakistani rupees on child vaccination programs, and the output is twenty thousand Pakistani rupees per quality adjusted life years, which is the cost utility analysis in all of these cases. Yes, case four or D is the correct answer, as the both are in the input is in monetary value, while the output is in quality adjusted life years. This is the key of the MCQs, and thank you very much. Thank you very much, Doctor Aves. Very nice presentation, especially about the cost analysis and different uh, types of evaluations and the frameworks that you have shown. And uh, the most important thing is uh, the recent advances and updates. Excellent uh, presentation. Uh, another thing is about the MCQs. I've seen the um, of the MCQs. They are really hard. But uh, the students they performed very well, and uh, especially the MCQ number ten, it uh, is a very hard MCQ, and I'm so glad that uh, almost all the students they can uh, pick the correct option. So very well done, Allah Hafiz, and see you next time, Allah Hafiz. Okay, thank you, Allah Hafiz.